going to talk about e-learning. And other than e-learning, we're going to talk about the subtopic that is called a telematic broadcast. A telematic broadcast services, it's one of the methods that is used through e-learning. So therefore, we first, I'll first give you the definition on what exactly it is, and then I'm going to tell you how does it work, because some of the universities are using it in our modern times. So a definition for a telematic broadcast services is that it is an interdisciplinary field that encompasses telecommunications, vehicular technologies, for instance, when we talk about the road transportation, road safety, and electrical engineers, such as the center's instrumental wireless communication, and also computer sciences. And then also again, when you speak about the telematic services, it also involves a global navigation satellite system technology integrated with the computers and the mobile communication technology in automotive navigation system. So usually I'll just give an example that one of the universities is using, which is also known as the Stellenbosch University where they use e broadcast for this telematic when they're connecting their, their sessions or when they're connecting their contact session. So they use e, e, the one of their theaters or lecture theaters where they have all these tools such as uh, videos and other mobile satellites that they are using. So they broadcast from Cape Town but when they're broadcasting, each student on each and every campuses that they have, they go and they sit in the class, they log in through their smartphones or computers. So they should have any in network. So therefore, they log in with their student numbers. And after they log in, then the system automatically will let them know and also, it will also tell a professor that who are the students who are already in class and who are listening and watching at the broadcast. So while the professor is still continuing with the broadcast, the students, if they have any questions, they are able to type a message through their smartphones or the computers that they are using. They type a message and then the message or the notification will be where the professor is and then he will stop and then he will acknowledge the person who's asking the question and read the question for everyone to see or to know what they're asking about and then he'll pause and then he will explain what is being asked and then after that if everything is covered and then the learner or a person who has asked the question then sends another message to say, okay, I'm covered with the question. And then the professors continues. So they have so many satellite campuses where these people um, are able to interact in many different ways. They have satellites in South Africa. They even have a satellite that is in Namibia. So that's how they are teaching. And with this uh, type of e-learning method it makes things very easy for us or as our students if we want to integrate ourselves and upgrade because even if you're working you find time to make sure that you attend your classes because you have to provide or you have to put in some time aside where you are told that at this specific time the broadcast will take place then you have to go to a place that has a network and then from there, then you are able to log in and then you participate in class. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have to go all the way to, to Cape Town in order for you to attend your, your lessons. So I'll also talk about the importance of a telematic broadcast system. It is there to enhance the vital mobility geographically to spur students to broaden their participation in the academic offering of Stellenbosch University. As I've said, I'm making an example with one of the universities that we have in South Africa that is 
offering this type of method or services. It also a customary it also customary divide between face to face and off campus educational opportunities while the barriers often set by location and time are reduced. So it's also telling us it doesn't matter where you are located but you are able to, to attend and it also saves time as well. And then it is also a flexible learning strategy that relies on a unique technology platform that integrates with satellite, mobile, web-based and video conferencing technologies. So therefore you must know which in order for you to be able to, to participate or to be part of this learning um, method, you need to, to be technology advanced. And then when we continue, it also tells us what it is an interactive learning system that strives to transformation to a conventional higher education institution into a world-class ITC supported learning environment. As we all know, most of our universities in our time, they move with INI, they move with the technology. Because previously, we were using other traditional ways of teaching or traditional methods where usually a teacher used to stand in front of the students and do the explaining the students uh, lessons and ask questions later. But with this new technology, it moves with the modern times. It moves with the 2030 version mm -hmm. that is planned to make sure we see all the universities accommodate or adapt to the way uh, how things are done in this um, in this global time that we in, and then this is also a method of learning that also is provisioning to train or that gives them a training opportunities for the lecturers to also assist them in order to provide a higher quality technology enhanced learning experiences for for their students as well. So it doesn't only um, teaches AMA students, but it also helps or assist AMA lecturers who are offering AMA lessons for their students because it teaches them with uh, all the tools that are being used in our, in our modern times. It uh, adapts to the to the times and the technology that is being used. So you must always make sure that you adapt on what is on what is happening. So that is a telematic broadcast services that we are talking about. So yeah, I've given out an example where you find which one of the universities are using it. And I would also maybe like to recommend Uti going forward with our universities like all of them. If it's possible, they could just adapt to this ty uh, type of e -e 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 learning because it also makes things easy and it is also not that expensive. It's, it's expensive to implement it, but once it's on the go, then it is much easier for students to access and to do their assignments as well because after you've seen these lessons, then they are sent AMA messages on how to do their assignments and after that they have to send them to a program that is also known as ETNBE. So you do your assignments and then you submit on ETNBE and then uh, the professor is able also to access it from there. It also calculates your plagiarism then it get marked and then you see if they send it back to you where you acknowledge how you have done or if there are any things, um, mistakes or too much plagiarism, the system will automatically tell you on what happened and then you have to go back and sort out your mistakes and then um, uh, do a rewrite re on that assignment and send it, and send it back. So, yeah, those are the advantages and importance of telematic broadcast services. Thank you.